bringing in everything but drugs. I promise you, man. Everything yeah. but drugs. Yeah. Nah, I promise. <laughs> so I, so I, I, I used to make a joke. Yeah, I'm bringing right. in everything but drugs, bro. That's and right. I used to make a joke when I was to walk through some of these neighborhoods that I, that I got sticks of hope. Because yeah. somebody walked up to me one day. It was a K2 head. Like, yo, you got sticks. I looked at him and laughed. I said, of hope. You trying to buy one? I got sticks of hope. He was looking at me like, what does that mean? It ain't dope. It's the opposite, bro. He, you know, we, we laughed at it. But what I bring into the community is mentorship. I bring, um, I bring genuine love, right? A lot of these kids don't have somebody that look like me, right? Or you, or you that says, yo, did you eat last night? Are you okay? What's going on at home? And I don't ask you these questions because I want something to happen to your people. So I'm asking because I want to help. I want to see if I got a solution for you, but they know it's genuine. Mm. I'm not talking to you like a teacher that's like, hey, what's going on yeah. in school? At home, and you know you only ask me these questions to hurt my mom or take right. something away from us. I really want to help you, right? right. Um, so, I, bring, I bring accountability, and I tell these, these, these little bros, man, like, if you don't have spiritual accountability, you, like, you're, you're lost, you're dead, right? And that's why it's easy to be like, oh, I'm a demon, because you don't fear God. Right, you have no spiritual accountability, and these kids are not given that. So, as you can see, I got on my face, God forgives, right? And I tell them that all the time, no matter how much you did, God will still forgive you. It only takes one day, one moment to repent and bring it all back, and the trajectory of your life will just start to shift. God forgives, bro. Your op may not. The dude, brother that you killed last year, whatever, they might not never forgive you, but God will, right? And I try to I try to stretch that to them, and I just bring that big brother and sometimes even like father energy to some of these kids that really come from a house full of women, that all they hear is clean your room, none of that, brush your teeth, da da da, and then you go to school, pick your pants up, with your homework, that, and women just become like this nagging thing that you, you just want to resist and rebel against, and then when you see men. Yo, what's up, little homie? You I? Right? And now you looking at what a man looks like. You looking at so the little kid that be having a little twist. They look at me and see the end version of themselves. Like is that's what I'm gonna look like when I grow up? They see the tattoos that they want already on me. That's what I'm gonna look with it on me. Or they just see a reflection of themselves. As your mom, you receive that. At, don't get me wrong, but you could never look at your moms and be like, damn, that's what I'm gonna look like when I can't see yourself in your moms. You see them little features in her eyes and all that, but seeing your pops, yeah, man, seeing your pops walk in the crib, and the way he dressed, how he wears hat, everything will start to a little like kind of slowly pour into your cup because this is somebody you stealing your style from. This is who I should be like, right? And they don't have nobody to stick to to craft their style behind, so they end up. As we know, following these jokers that's out here, just um, with, with, with crumbs for them. Yeah. Not even a loaf. You got a crumb for them, and they mm -hmm. willing to throw their life away for that crumb because they ain't got nothing else.